afternoon all, well, this afternoon with John and Bob, we've just parked up at Mount Hooley and we are going to do our Christmas wild camp up at the Border Ridge in the Orchid Refuge Hut. It's about 5 degrees at the minute, the forecast is a little bit miserable but uh, I'm sure we'll make the most of it, so it's going to head on up the hill about hours walk Bob do you yeah. think? Yeah, I'm going to meet Mark outdoors up there as well. Yeah, meet Mark outdoors, check out his channel, he's got some good stuff on there. Fantastic shot of the Aurora he took in his last camp. So anyway, we're going to head on up this hill before this rain gets up. Catch you later. We're just walking along the relative flat of uh, College Valley at the minute, but as you can see in front of us, it goes pretty much straight uphill um, to the border ridge. That's Red Cribs in front of us. That's where we're going to head up, just to the right of it anyway. So little bits of snow hanging around on Cheviot. I'm weather permitting, I'm planning on heading up there tomorrow morning, early on for the sunrise. There's John Bob just heading up. I think that's a, uh, oh, what's it called? Easter Tor and Wester Tor, just down the valley there. It's really, really swampy walking along here, so I imagine the pictures are going to be wet as well. But we'll see when we get there. Right, we've decided against going up Red Cribs, because as I remember rightly the last time, it's a very steep climb. That's up there, just to the right of the right of uh, that little bit of scree there. It's so going to head up past this old abandoned shed and there's a little meandering track goes up to the border ridge just somewhere in the region of uh, Three Sisters Waterfall at the bottom of Hen Hole. It's uh, something a little bit brighter down the valley there. Let's hope this rain uh, stays off. Forecast was for no rain until about lunchtime tomorrow but obviously I never believe forecasting so far it's wrong. But we'll see how it goes. There's a guy up in front there and I suspect that could be Mark from Mark Outdoors. I guess this old abandoned shed here could be a bit of a refuge if you ever get stuck in a storm. No, it won't be in there, mind. John's got a leak in his bags, just sorting it out. Unfortunately, a can of beer just burst inside John's bag there, but fortunately he had the sense to pack them at the bottom, so none of his stuff has got wet. There's something at the bottom of my hen hole there, some little bits of snow lying around. I don't think we'll go close enough to Three Sisters Waterfall to get a shot of it, but uh, you know, I never might, might come down in the morning, depending on how time goes. Hopefully, this is going to be an easier route than going up Red Cribs. Right, this path, I tell you, it doesn't look too steep, but it certainly feels it, and that's, that's just me out of practice because I haven't walked to work for a while. And obviously, the excesses of Christmas, etc. And obviously, it gets steeper in front. A little bit close at the hen hole now, but to be fair, the views are going to be rubbish today. So. We'll carry on, hopefully it's not too much further. I'm pretty sure as soon as you get over that crest there you see the refuge hut. Fingers crossed. Alright, we've eventually made it to the border ridge. Really hard claim as you can tell I'm shot and I'm well out, well out of uh, form at the minute. I need to get some practice in, in the new year. It's so wet and so boggy. Uh, I'm not sure whether I'm going to go up to achieve it in the morning or not. I'll uh, assess the situation when I wake up. But I'll just turn you around and you can see where we've came from. It's a long way down that valley and you can see we've made some decent ascent, so the hard work and the pain was worthwhile. Nothing to say up there, it's just too misty. There's lots of snow forecast um, tomorrow afternoon. The fact that rain that were in earlier was just starting to turn to snow. I've seen a few snowflakes floating past so let's see what tonight brings. Hood should be just over this crest in front. Right so there we go there's a refuge shot. John, Bob, Mark and somebody else are there already. Very welcome sight that hut. I'll be having a few uh, Christmas celebratory drinks in there tonight no doubt. So get up here get the tent pitched and the gear sorted out before it gets too dark. To bring you back shortly. 
Okay, I'll film this again with the light on this time. Here's Mark and his Helm Compact 1. Bob and his Falraven Abisco Light 2. That's the Orcup Mountain Refuge hut. Sean's in his MSR 2 or 2. Huge in there, I'm going to have a party in that later. Now I'm in my Hillyberg Solo which is still a bit of a tip inside and I've just realised I'm on a bit of a hill so I'm going to have to turn my mat and sleeping bag round so my head's at the other end right tip in here but I've got my beers there for later food for later I'm on my uh, seat to summit Ethylite Extreme it's my OEX Leviathan EV900 sleeping bag it's my winter bag and my Trekology pillow and as you can see it's well and truly downhill so I'm going to have a quick turn around and then I'm going to go in the shed, join the lads and have a beer bring you back shortly right I'm getting cold out here now just want to get in the hut get warmed up a bit slippy on this bit deck in here mind oh. it's all set up lads that looks cosy in here. Who's got a mat in here? We're going to fix this. Oh, yeah, mine sticks all the time, Bob. I'll sort it. Can you fix them? Right, so more or less set up now. We're not going to be having dinner much later on, so uh, feeling a bit peckish. So I'm going to have some uh, Chris Young from Blot Outdoors Show. I'm going to have some insp uh, his inspired um, Italian meats and cheese. I'm going to have that as a little snack. Got some nuts. I've got some. Um, what have I got? Lamb Rogan Josh for later on. With some Uncle Benskis pilau rice. Somewhere around here I've got pigs and blankets for in the morning. So let's get in the hut and get a little bit warmed up. See you shortly. Here comes Bob doing his famous bare knuckle press ups on the floor on the concrete. of Oak Up Refuge Ready? Hut. Go on. 17, not 70. I think he's doing 50, yeah, mate. <laughs> right, one more. 20. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> well done, Bob. Right, John, your turn. Come on. <laughs> right, it's absolutely freezing now, so I'm just heading back to the tent. I'm going to get my lamb rogan Josh out. Take it back to the hut and cook it because I'm absolutely starving. Where is it? That's it there. That has been dandy for me. There's my stove. There's my gas. There it is. Right, get back in the shed and get this cooked. Right, food time. Lamb Rogan Josh. Bob's having... Yeah, Stella. No. <laughs> I'm having Stella. Stella. Wait, Peter. John's having... Pasta. Pasta. Mark's having there. Uh, Nice bit of spaghetti pasta, as you want to call it. Spaghetti. Lovely and warm. Right, well, this is just cooking up nicely now, because I'm absolutely freezing. Poor Bob's got any food, you win it, Jack. Right. Will it won't give us any. Now have a little bit if you want, Bob. No, thanks. I'm cooking, Bob. I'm cooking, dude. Yeah, I've got two ostrich burgers. Ostrich burgers, aye. So now I'm a celebrity, get me out of here. With. Two fucking buns. Three ostrich buns now. Aye. You seeded ones, but no butter on because they're doing. Look at the little cans in the shops like this, grab loads of the fuckers. Right, just come back to the tent. It's a bit frosty. It's going to be a cold night tonight.
Right, well that's it. I've had a very good night in the Oak Refuge hut. It's about minus three now. Nice clear sky, the clouds have all gone. Got a couple of nice star shots. Uh, thanks to Mark Outdoors for showing us how to use my camera. Because I didn't have an absolute scooby-doo how to do it. But uh, that's it. I'm totally tired now, so going to bed and see you in the morrow. See you later. Bye. Morning guys, breakfast time, I'm taking blankets left over from Christmas, and I'm sitting, I have hot chocolate to warm us up, but didn't have too bad a night last night, the frost on the inside, the tent is falling over the flaps, well they're giving a sort of seat by Right, time to start packing up. As you can see, it was a oop, nearly fell over. Bit of a frosty night last night. Minus five at the minute. Obviously, the wind chill is going to make it feel a lot cooler. It's a shed where we spent the night. It's a little bit few shot. And there's John just packing away and behind him is Windy Dial. Just looking up there is Oak Up Cane and the hen hole up. And that's looking down the College Valley. It's in the direction of the coast. It's a shell in that direction. Mark's tent, Mark's tent. You can see the snow in the hills over there in the distance. Mark reckons that's caught a ball over there where you can see the snow in the hills. Right, let's see. Uh, get packed up. Right, that's me packed up. Somehow managed to get everything in my bag. All that's left is a little coffin shaped outline of frost from the tent. I think it might actually be a little bit snow in the night. Pack all the rubbish up. You can take some other people's rubbish away that they left in the refuge. Uh, There's Mark just finished packing up. John and Bob are packed up. So, as always, guys, leave no trace. There's no sunrise to speak of this morning. I did a, a first ever time lapse. So we'll see what that comes out like when I get home. So that's it. Head back down to the car. Right, that's us on our way back down the valley. Uh, it's absolutely freezing cold. Air temperature minus five. The wind's really picking up, so the wind chill's probably around about the minus ten. But uh, obviously, it's a lot easier walking down than it was walking up last night. A lot lighter bag, and obviously, it's downhill. So we're going to head along the valley bottom now. John and Bob are just up in front, so I'm going to get along and catch them up. I'll just give you a show you down the valley. Two ticks. There we go. Not much to see, but actually I can see some people down there by that little shed. I saw some head torches down there last night, so I'm assuming there's been people camping out or bivying at that shed. We'll see when we go past. Right, that's us back at the van. It's been a pretty successful camp. Cold, but dry, and not too much wind. The wind's actually just starting now, so we made it back down in good time. Enjoyed, Bob? Yeah, pure belter. Great, great laugh in the shed, few beers. Nice food and uh, great camp. So and we've left Mark up there. Oh yeah, Mark outdoors is still up there taking a few more photos. So watch out for them on his channel later. So anyway guys, thanks for watching as always. And uh, see you on the next like one. Like and subscribe. See you later. Bye.